Indianola is a ghost town in Matagorda Bay, in Texas. In 1875, the city had a population of 5,000. But, on September 15th of that year, a powerful hurricane struck, killing between 150 and 300 people, and almost entirely destroying the town. Indianola was rebuilt, only to be destroyed on August 19, 1886, by another intense hurricane, which was followed by a fire. La Salle Monument is a granite monument dedicated to the French explorer La Salle. The monument was erected in 1938. La Salle established his Fort S.C. Lewis on a high rise overlooking Garcetas Creek a few miles above where it enters La Vaca Bay. He born in Rouen, France in 1643. He came to Canada in 1666. And he founded a first settlement near Montreal. He led several expeditions on the Great Lakes and Ohio and Illinois River. He completed his expedition of the Mississippi 1682. In July 1684, La Salle sailed from France to establish a colony at the mouth of the Mississippi. He landed at Matagorda Bay on February 1685. There, he established Fort St. Louis while on his way to Canada. He murdered near the Trinity River on March 1687. La Salle's colony on Matagorda Bay gave the United States its first claim to Texas as a part of the Louisiana Purchase. From its founding in 1846, Indianola served as a major port and before the 1875 storm, Indianola was second only to Galveston, Texas, as Texas' primary port. In 1856, the port received cargoes of camels, part of the United States Camel Corps experiment to replace horses and mules as the primary pack animal in the southwestern parts of the country. During the American Civil War, Indianola was twice occupied by Union troops in October 1862 and November 1863. During the second occupation, part of a Union infantry regiment moving from Indianola to Matagorda Island drowned in Matagorda Bay. In 1869, the world's first mechanically refrigerated shipment of beef left Indianola for New Orleans. During World War II, the United States Army constructed an anti-aircraft firing range along the Indianola shoreline to train gunners and the facility was used primarily by military personnel from Camp Holland, located outside of Palacios. Having survived severe storms before, Indianola was almost totally destroyed on September 16, 1875. The New York Times reported in detail on the extensive loss of life and property. Even the lighthouses were swept away and the keepers, including Thomas H. Maine and Edward Flick Jr. of the East Shoal Lighthouse was killed. The town was rebuilt, but events were repeated in 1886. The destruction served as an abject lesson for many residents of Galveston, 100 miles up the Texas coast. However, their calls for a seawall to protect that city went unheeded, and Galveston nearly shared Indianola's fate when the Galveston hurricane of 1900 struck the island. A railroad was intended to connect the port of Indianola to San Antonio. After the two storms, discouraged investors abandoned the venture and made Galveston the port of choice. After Galveston's hurricane, shipping traffic recentered over time to inland Houston. After the 1886 storm, the county seat was moved to Port La Vaca. On October 4, 1887, the post office in Indianola was permanently closed and the town declared dead. Today, almost nothing remains of the original Indianola, as, due to storm erosion, most of the site of the city is now underwater. A granite marker was placed on the shore at the nearest point to the Indianola courthouse, now 300 feet, about 90 meters, away in Matagorda Bay. It reads, Calhoun County Courthouse. Edward Beaumont, Architect 1859. During the storms of 1875 and 1886, precious lives were saved within its walls of shell, concrete, and lime. Abandoned 1886. The site is also home to a statue of René Robert Cavalier, Sieur de La Salle. Indianola is now the site of a small unincorporated fishing village.